this a free person video. I will uh, this people in there are uh, it's happy to nominate of who is the video, who is I really referring to and that because of the confidentiality issue, because of the other main issue, this individual, this, 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 this thing John Doe do have, I have to refer to the name John Doe, instead of the actual real name, so I'm going to just do the confidentiality issues, and that person is, that individual, Mr. Mrs. John Doe, is in Mary's place, so I can't, you know, refer to the name that it was complete, the confidentiality that the Audi that she that she has to go to. The trans women have to go to here, so I can't, you know, um, say that. And so now, okay, I can hardly wait for the day when Mrs. John Doe put that door of the woman's shelter behind her, walk out that door for the last time to her new apartment. I can't wait. I, I mean, that'd be an exciting day for me because I look at it in my way. I look at it, I'd be very happy for her if she ever walked out that door. A happy thing. Putting that door behind her, Mr. John Doe put the door behind her the last and final time. Now, women's shelters, if you really, if you really in a bind and you have like a beautiful situation, it's like, your folks are abusing you, your husband abusing you real bad, they have kids. These women shall will help you out many, many, many ways. And if you end up homeless on the street with your kids, or end up homeless yourself as a woman, these shoulders will help you in many, many ways. A friend of mine, Mrs. John Doe, who's in one right now, so, the name, and I can say who, which self it is. So, I can't tell you it because that, in the world, that she got a lot of help. And I'm happy, I'm very proud she did this. Because she went under, went undergone gender conversion therapy when she grown up, had a lot of youth, not really a lot of issues, not something I to deal with. That is like, I'm very happy she got the help. And that good issue for her, good experience, she learned her body learning, she learned her health a lot of it too. That is very good. Anyway, that is good, good at part of all it, that's proud for her doing it. Well, now, I'm gonna say, I can't give her name, but I'm gonna say John Doe because that's the way I'm putting it. Keep the names anonymous, keep the name of the location anonymous. I'm going to say women shelters do help women in the city, or any women shelter will help you with anything, finding you a place to live, if you got kids to help you find a place to live, if they got, like, if you don't have a place to a single lady, they'll help you find a uh, nice place to live, sometimes the place that may be better than you expect, or may find out the YWCA or many places to live. So if you want to, if you really need it, you know, you got to think about or it's over and um, really, truly be, you know, what you got to do. So if you need that help, there's several missing services here in Hamilton, Ontario, has this place in Hamilton called Innismuch House. They will help you in legal matters, other various types of matters, so aid issues, other issues, and many, many more issues. It's this one mission service they sell to help them. And the other shelter owned by a good shepherd will help you in other issues. And they will help you in so much issues. They will to help you in issues too. So if you want something, or we need, if you will, if you are dangerous, or if you are actually beating you up, husband, rudely beating you up, you got your kids. I recommend, highly recommend go to one of these women's shelters, get yourself in. And if you don't need it, if you need to, but if you don't really need it, honestly, we have a good thing. You don't really need that woman's house. We don't have your home. We're not homeless. Don't need a woman's house. I recommend you to stay where you are until when you really need it. They'll be there. They're there waiting to help you out. Of course, if you're on 
social assistance of some kind, he will, he will not have the money. He will make, his sex will be a lot less than he normally will get <laughs> if you're on some form of social assistance. Because it will take almost 90, almost half of your sex to pay for the stay at the location. So I'm sort of saying that it will take half your sex, of course. Today is for this to stay, this for you to stay there at, at that women's shelter. So if somebody gets $600 in welfare, they, they're only going to see $200, maybe if you know if are staying at the women's shelter. Somebody getting 850 on OSP, you know how much they're going to see? $200. <laughs> that's what, that's a lot, a lot of time left, or maybe a little more, it might vary. May vary to insult or so, I can't tell you that. But, uh, and if you want to, you know, these are great services out there. The greatest for women, that, but <laughs> fortunately for the males, you have to deal with the, with the man's shelter and, this, and that. that. I don't like to tell too much about but for ladies, that's a good service, isn't it? But you, you, you pay for it for the nose. You will pay for it, you know, and you can lose a lot of your oldest government sets, you know, normal good for hunk of it too. So, good hunk of your OW, United States and state, and various and laws, and I, and unfortunately in Canada, that's so our law in Canada, and not Ontario, but if you go to the United States, and you are a transgender woman in the USA, you try to walk in the women's house, they'll tell you to go to the man's shelter. The man's shelter tell you women's shelter, so you don't, you can't get into women's shelter in states. they alone here, they in Canada. So me, I know I, if I need that, sir, I know I could do it, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. I had, you know, I have my place to live, so I don't want to think about it, you know. So in the women's shelter bit, you can. So, but in the United States, different laws, different states. Texas is a real, real bad for racism. Oh, I heard I hear a lot from the trans support line. People tell me about it on the trans support line many times. So women's shelters in states are real bad. So you need to, um, that is not good at all. So you are, um, so yeah, see, Stateside, the women's soldiers are actually behind Canada in many ways. They don't have, they have, may have, they have services. If you buy a local female, you have and go and get, say, probably get spoke same services. But I don't know what services they offer in the States compared to Canada. But I know Canadians, I don't know what they offer, say, but they are just not very, you know, good. This is very, very fragmented over there. Trans care is very fragmented. And in Hamilton alone, transgender, trans community, very, very fragmented. There are very few people in a very few spots. Matter of fact, yes, we have trans community, but it's so badly fragmented with the well ex gone under, so fragmented. We we have to, for some time, we pull together an event coming up on two, actually, we pull out together one month. That's a very, that's how fragmented our trans community. I got into, into cities like Toronto and it they, they know not fragmented at all in Toronto and unfragmented. So defra so un so defragmented it like it's like I mean not one I get very really good service. I remember I got into Toronto, I got better trans support in the city of Toronto on Sir Street in Toronto Around the five, this is around five nineteen, and I ever get here in Hamilton. Hamilton's like it's fragmented, real bad. It's not really pleasant. It is fragmented to a point where you don't. To a point where you just got to you know do it. And if that's how badly fragmented it whole thing is, Hamilton, like you know. Problem is, you know, Hamilton people or Hamilton Council sits on their fannies, they don't do anything. They think about it and at the time to do something, it almost years go by for do something about it. Anyway, another one too, it's in half right now, Pam and Games, and now all of a sudden they got a station in Hamilton, they're not even done yet, so train not that completed yet. So I don't think it ever gonna be ready in time. I think they're gonna have I know 
100 Street you probably have it there. Anyway, that's it. Go on with it here. You know. Anyway, this concludes the video. That's another video and another time. Thank you for watching. I hope you learn from this. You know. Maybe if you really, I tell you ladies, you need this service out there. The women's shelter. If you feel abused this morning, go to your, go to the women's shelter. They will more than happy to help you out. If you go in and dress out, they'll be glad to go to other ones like Mary Place, um, um, the Barrick Center, Native Women's Center, and others, and Marvel Place, the old shelter will be more than happy to help you out. Of course, you may not have your full set, but at least you got something. We got something out of it. Some place to go in the end. Okay, that concludes this video. So thank you for um, watching.